everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I am a content creator, college student, and just a girl living life at almost 22. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and stay tuned for more. Today we are diving into a MacBook Pro 16 inch, kind of uh, one month later. As you know, I was trying to, I was eventually going to film an unboxing video and then we had the hard drive crash of 2021 and I will link a video up there if you really want to learn more about that but I won't go on for long. Basically I lost the footage so we're improvising and pivoting and we are doing a one month review talking about the product, why I like it, why I think it's great for content creators, photographers, college students even and let's get started. So the 16 inch MacBook Pro has a 16 inch diagonal retina LED backlit display with true tone technology. It has a 2.3 gigahertz eight core Intel Core i9, 16 gigabytes of DD4 memory, an AMD Radeon 5500M, four gigabyte memory graphics card, Intel UHD graphics 630, four Thunderbolt USB-C three ports and a one terabyte SSD. So the reason why I wanted to upgrade, I went, I wanted bigger screen real estate. I knew I was going to be writing papers all throughout my last semester of college. And I was like, you know what? It's time to upgrade. So I started saving for this over, for over a year, obviously for a college student, it took a lot for me to be able to buy this computer. And I'm really happy that I did. So honestly, no regrets. I'm very happy with it. And I love every, I love the computer. I, I don't have a complaint at all. I'm a photographer, a videographer, a video editor, a graphic designer. I use Adobe InDesign. I use the entire Adobe suite. I use Final Cut Pro. I do it all on my computer and I needed a computer that was compatible, that was capable of doing what I needed to. And the Intel Core i9 is, a, I mean, it's a workhorse. It does the work. Now, the only thing I, I wish I would have changed was getting an upgraded RAM. I didn't upgrade the RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. I really wanted 32, but I would have had to wait longer because of that. And I was like, no, let's just stick with the base model. Like it's fine. So there's that. So the better editing workflow was really one of the things that I really wanted because of the fact that I do edit every week, every single week, every, like if you ask me what I'm doing on a Saturday, I'm editing a video for YouTube. Uh, because Sundays and Wednesdays are my upload days, but anyway. <laughs> uh, so I wanted that better editing workflow because it was really gonna be something that was gonna help me and carry me into beyond, call, beyond my college career and into my professional life as well. So, especially as a freelancer. Next, it's easier on the eyes. So the bigger screen is a lot easier for me to look at. Someone who has glasses and whose vision continually gets worse year after year, it is something that I really appreciate as a bigger screen because I just do. It's. I like the bigger screen. I just do. I always have, always will. So there's that. The last thing is the dedicated graphics card. So my previous MacBook Pro did not have a dedicated graphics card and I could tell that it really lagged when I was editing video or doing anything beyond word processing. I had an Intel Core i5, which by 2021 is kind of outnumbered at this point uh, in today's world. So I really wanted something that could match the speed at which I needed to get things done. So that's why I ultimately decided to do that. So let's talk specs now. 2.3 gigahertz Intel 8 core i9 with one terabyte of storage. So the storage that I had previously on my old one was 256 gigs and I went through that pretty fast, but one terabyte I feel like will, will last me a bit longer. I was even debating when I was getting ready to purchase this. I was like, do I really need the one terabyte of storage? Do I really want the Intel core i9? And I'm so glad that I ended up going through with it because it ended up making me a lot happier. I was doubting. I'm like, is this, uh, is this one that I'm buying even going to be fast enough? But so coming from an Intel Core i3 to an Intel Core i5 to an in Intel Core i7, I wanted to go ahead and go up another level because I felt like for editing and for what I do on my computer, this that would have been essential. So now let's talk my one month review. I'm actually really happy with the computer. I think it's a solid piece of machinery. I really, really love it. I mean, it has not failed me. I did get a couple accessories, but I have this pink case on it. This has my SSD that I edit with off in there and I can just put it Actually, um, I forget who it was. So Shelby Church shared this in her, one of her vlogs and I bought this. It's 10 bucks on Amazon and uh, really great. I love the four ports. Before I would always have to, I would get so frustrated with the fact that I only had two ports, but now that I have four, it really did elevate my workflow and make things a lot less annoying when you're trying to transfer footage and all that stuff. So there's a lot less to deal with. As far as if I would re recommend this computer, I would highly recommend it. This is my main editing machine. I needed that bigger screen to be able to edit off of and I really think it does 
help me, helps my eyes. <laughs> so there's that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. I have more Apple content planned very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for your support and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.